I'm going to cards. Cards. You still want cards? Okay.
we are at Gigi's Kitchen this morning. After a slight delay, they had apparently evacuated the building for something that we don't know. So everyone was heading back in, but we still got to eat here, which is such a blessing. And I went a little bit crazy. So yeah, I got way too much. <laughs> But I really do like this place. It has a lot of different variety. And they also have a lot of like, they were like self-serve like peanut butter and like all this stuff. So like pretty much there's something here for every age, every food group, if you want it, they have it here. They have a lot of traditional breakfast food, a lot of like brunch food. They have like chicken tenders, things like that. But uh, very nice selection. Oh, and there comes Goofy behind me. <laughs> There he is, there's the chef. <laughs> and he made some of his goofy favorites, which is why we have some weird stuff on this plate, but it looks really good. Okay, so we have a peanut butter pizza. We have a bunch of different macaroons. So this one's vanilla, pistachio, chocolate, and raspberry, a blueberry muffin, a cinnamon roll, a Nutella beignet, a lemon bar, which is really tiny but looks good, a traditional Mickey waffle, some bacon. These, these are um, mac and cheese scrambled eggs, so that's gonna be an interesting try. And then they had some pesto pasta that just looked too good for me to pass up. And then I got my signature chocolate milk, water. Okay, so the verdict is I really liked the pancake and the bacon. It was just traditional breakfast food. I didn't end up eating the macaroni egg. I just wasn't in the mood for it. But Tim said it was, you know, like pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like mind-blowing. And then this pesto pasta, I would give like an 8 out of 10. It was really, really good actually. I just got a little full and I want to save room for the dessert portion. Yes, I'm going to oh. I should have saved that fork though. It's okay. I got a spoon. I got a spoon. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. So we have many a thing on this plate. We're gonna try the macaroons first. So chocolate macaroon. Very chocolatey. Next up is a pistachio one. I'm gonna eat this other side that doesn't have peanut butter and jelly on it to get a fair taste of it. It is very pistachio. I like pistachio nuts. I don't usually eat things pistachio flavored, so I probably will not eat the rest of this, but it is, it is good and if you like pistachios, probably like it. Next up, our vanilla one. It's good. Just a pure vanilla. Okay, last macaroon we have is the raspberry one. Mm. Berry, berry. It kind of matches my fingernails. Look okay. at how pink that is on the inside. It's good. Next up, I dread doing this, but I'm also kind of excited. We're going to try a piece of the peanut butter and jelly pizza. peanut butter and jelly sandwich honestly. I mean if you think about it like the pizza is like the bread. So it tastes, it tastes honestly about the same. If you or your kids really like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I think that's a good option. They have other pizzas as well. They have like a breakfast pizza and then I think they just have like regular, they have a s'mores pizza. Katie would you like to bring the s'mores pizza over What's into left of the s'mores pizza? You like it? I mean yeah. It's Nutella and marshmallow. Mellows on top of the bread. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna try the beignet. So this is a hazelnut beignet. I think I called it a Nutella beignet earlier by mistake, but it's just hazelnut. Katie tried this earlier and said there was just like a cream 
It looked like white cream in there, so I don't know. I'm so let's see. Okay, so I got a random one. There were several up there. I got a random cream, white cream one. I thought I grabbed hazelnut. There's a little bit in there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That second bite. More cream? Got so much more. So delicious. Why did I do this to myself? Gotta do it for the vlog, though. Took a bite out of the I know, cream. I gotta do it for the Okay. Ooh, that one's gooey. I'm gonna have to use the spoon for this one. Okay, next up is the lemon bar. I'm using the spoon because it's very like jelly on the side. My grandmother loves lemon bars. So I got this for you, Barbara. I did because I thought about you seeing this lemon bar. It looks really good though, it has like the powdered sugar on top, and it's really little. Very, very lemony. Very good. That one was good, but it was like, ooh, lemon. All right, next is our cinnamon roll. I'm a cinnamon roll lover. I'm quite full though, but I will take a bite to show you guys what it tastes like. It's good. It's not overly sweet. They did have some more sauce when you got it that you could put on it. But it's really good. I can't do the muffin. It's over. Don't do it. Here. Don't make it look like it was mine that I didn't eat. Overall, everything was really, really good. And I would highly recommend this place to anyone that is in the Disneyland area because it has a lot of food options for all ages. And it is a buffet. You can eat as much as you want. So I really enjoy it. Goofy's Kitchen. I think it was great. Um, I agree with everything you said about there being a lot of options. There's some fun, you know, more kids oriented stuff that anyone could eat. I I really liked there was like healthier options like some nice salads and like vegetables and stuff like that because sometimes I'm just not ready to like shove cake into my mouth. <laughs> But I think, um, I don't know, I think, it, I think it has an edge up on some of the other, like, 
just basic character breakfast that I've seen in like Walt Disney World. So. I give it a I give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up actually. <laughs> thumbs up. Yay! Tim approved. <laughs>